In a headline-making update, NASA revealed that Voyager 1 has detected something once considered unattainable. For nearly half a century, this iconic spacecraft has stretched the limits of human exploration, granting an extraordinary view of our solar system and the space beyond. Now, as it nears the final chapter of its odyssey, it has achieved yet another remarkable milestone, one that cements its place in cosmic history. So what is this seemingly impossible finding by Voyager 1? How much longer can this pathfinding spacecraft keep going? And what last goals is NASA aiming for before the mission winds down? Let's delve into NASA's alert regarding Voyager 1's astonishing, once impossible result before it's ultimately powered down. If any mission has etched a lasting mark on the universe, it's Voyager, launched on September 5, 1977, to investigate the outer planets. The two Voyager probes blew past their original aims and ventured into uncharted space. Voyager 1's monumental trek has thrilled NASA and researchers across the globe, delivering a vast cache of knowledge about our cosmic neighborhood. Five decades after liftoff, Voyager stands as the longest continuously operating mission ever run by a space agency. Its continued activity borders on miraculous especially given that it was initially expected to operate for only about five years. That endurance is a testament to the exceptional engineering and ingenuity behind Voyager. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 featured advanced technology for their time. From propulsion to long-range communications, each subsystem was built with longevity in mind. NASA drew on the Mariner heritage while adding crucial upgrades. Voyager 1 carried 11 scientific instruments, including an ultraviolet spectrometer, cosmic ray detectors, a magnetometer, imaging systems, and a high-gain antenna. With this toolkit, it analyzed planets, stars, magnetic environments, radiation belts, and atmospheres. NASA also famously sent a golden record, a cultural time capsule intended to introduce humanity to any extraterrestrial life that might encounter the spacecraft. Building Voyager was a collaborative triumph that included pioneers like Gary Flandro. This visionary aerospace engineer not only contributed to key design calculations, but also plotted a pivotal trajectory. His work enabled Voyager 1 to surpass its twin, launch two weeks earlier, and become the most distant human-made object in existence. Flandro's insight was foundational to Voyager's achievements. In the 1960s, he identified a rare alignment of the outer planets on the same side of the Sun, a configuration that arises only once every few centuries. His analysis showed that such an alignment would occur in the late 1970s and 1980s. Driven by this opportunity, NASA accelerated spacecraft development to capitalize on the window. That alignment made it possible for Voyager to leverage gravitational assists, slingshotting from one world to the next while saving both time and fuel. This gravity assist strategy, often called the slingshot effect, remains a cornerstone of deep space navigation today. A lasting tribute to Flandro's foresight, but making it work required pinpoint timing and trajectory design. NASA's navigators nailed those parameters. To maximize success, the agency launched two spacecraft. Voyager 1 targeted Jupiter and Saturn, while Voyager 2 continued on to Uranus and Neptune. At the time, those distant giants were largely unknown, making them ideal candidates for discovery. Excitement soared when the Voyagers not only completed their flybys, but pressed onward, revealing cosmic phenomena beyond prior imagination. By 1998, Voyager 1 had overtaken Pioneer 10 as the most distant spacecraft from Earth. By 2006, it had traveled 9.3 billion miles, and today it has surpassed 15 billion miles. It's no surprise the mission still captivates the scientific community. Even more extraordinary is that Voyager 1 continues to maintain contact with Earth despite never receiving a repair in all those years. How can a half-century-old probe, untouched since launch, still transmit valuable data? The secret lies in its robust design. Voyager 1's communications remain viable thanks to NASA's global deep space network. The spacecraft's 12-foot high-gain antenna works with this worldwide array of radio dishes to exchange signals across staggering distances. The system was engineered to detect extremely faint transmissions from deep space. Voyager can adjust its antenna's orientation to keep Earth in its sights and can transmit on multiple frequencies. 
Why did NASA invest so heavily in communications? Because nearly all of Voyager's science returns as radio data, even traveling at light speed. Signals can take up to two days to arrive due to the immense span between the probe and Earth. Transmission rate, interference, and precise antenna pointing all influence how quickly and reliably information flows between Voyager and mission control. That's why communications have grown even more critical as power wanes. With the cameras and several other instruments shut down to conserve energy, the radio system is the lifeline without it. Voyager 1 would be just another artifact drifting in interstellar space. Fortunately, the link still carries science home. Though some recent transmissions have been perplexing enough to raise red flags among researchers. In recent periods, Voyager has returned unusual and confusing telemetry that has prompted concern within the scientific community. In 2022, Voyager 1 began transmitting anomalous signals, igniting widespread debate about possible causes. Speculation about extraterrestrial involvement briefly surged. Some wondered if the probe had been meddled with, while others suggested the strange telemetry might be hidden messages from alien intelligence. Those ideas echoed NASA's own preparedness for interstellar contact symbolized by the golden record aboard the Voyagers. Yet beyond the odd readings themselves, no tangible evidence pointed to alien activity. Interest intensified when California's Allen Telescope Array, built for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, picked up unusual emissions from Voyager 1, using 20 of its 42 dishes to log about 15 minutes of observations. Although the team lauded the system's performance, they released few specifics about what the data revealed. NASA pressed on with diagnostics and ultimately identified a mundane culprit, not aliens, but a technical fault, the spacecraft's flight data system, which aggregates and relays science and engineering information, had begun outputting a repeating string of zeros and ones. Attempts to reset it didn't restore normal behavior. Engineers eventually traced the anomaly to the Attitude Articulation and Control System, the subsystem that keeps the high-gain antenna locked on Earth. Due to a misrouting error, telemetry was being sent to an incorrect onboard computer. That particular computer had been offline for years, so any AACS data funneled into it was instantly garbled. This cascade of corrupted telemetry understandably baffled mission controllers. The fix was straightforward. Transmit a command instructing Voyager to route its data through the proper computer. While the immediate glitch was cleared, unresolved questions linger. Why did the spacecraft alter its data path at all? Was it a random fault? Or did some external factor nudge it? These uncertainties rekindle conjecture about intelligent influence. NASA acknowledges that aspects of the incident remain unclear. Ordinarily, onboard fault protection logic should have flagged the problem in the absence of alerts. It almost seemed as if the spacecraft had deliberately rerouted its own telemetry, raising the unsettling question of what, if anything, initiated that change. Meanwhile, more enigmatic readings began arriving after Voyager crossed into interstellar space, a domain long famed for its challenges and scientific allure. This vast region, rich with diffuse matter and energetic particles, differs profoundly from the space dominated by our Sun. For decades, researchers posited that a true step into interstellar space could unveil exceptional discoveries, perhaps even hints relevant to life beyond Earth. The world took notice when Voyager 1 traversed the heliopause, the boundary of the sun's protective bubble, on August 25th, 2012, a watershed moment in exploration. The heliosphere shields the solar system from much of interstellar radiation, and breaching its edge opened a long-sought window to the medium beyond. Once across, Voyager delivered unprecedented measurements, helping scientists reinterpret the complex behavior of the heliosheath and the interstellar milieu that had previously been largely theoretical. The mission provided concrete evidence to refine models and answer foundational questions. Through its instruments, Voyager mapped the behavior of interstellar space, documenting cosmic ray intensities, magnetic field behavior, and plasma wave properties. It detected energetic particles likely born in supernova remnants and other violent astrophysical processes invigorating research in space and astrophysical plasma physics. Today, Voyager 1 remains humanity's only functioning sentinel beyond the heliosphere. 
but its power reserves are fading, diminishing on the order of about four watts each year. Current projections suggest roughly five to ten more years of operations, making every transmission increasingly valuable as the mission enters its twilight. As it drifts ever closer to the distant or cloud, a hypothesized spherical reservoir of icy bodies at the fringes of the solar system that may harbor billions to trillions of comets, the probe edges toward another frontier that has captivated astronomers for generations. With luck, more insights will arrive before the spacecraft finally falls silent. Voyager 1 steers using hydrazine, a straightforward and reliable monopropellant for its small thrusters, its primary electrical power comes from plutonium-238 within a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, which converts heat from radioactive decay into electricity to run the spacecraft systems. Radioisotope thermoelectric generators harness heat from radioactive decay to produce electricity, enabling the spacecraft to function far from the sun amid extreme conditions. Although Voyager 1 retains sufficient hydrazine for roughly 15 more years of attitude control, its plutonium-powered RTGs are projected to drop below usable output in about five years, casting doubt on its long-term operations. When its power finally fades, the probe will glide silently through the void, a timeless artifact of human curiosity and engineering. From its landmark encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, revealing intricate ring structures and diverse moons, to its later measurements of magnetic fields and cosmic rays. Voyager 1 has fundamentally reshaped cosmic understanding. Its reports of ring material at Jupiter, additional small moons such as Thebe and Metis, and deep insights into Saturn's rings and magnetosphere have become core references in planetary science. Likewise, findings often associated with the outer ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, expanded knowledge of ring systems and satellites. While the venture beyond Neptune highlighted the distant Kuiper belt, and its multitude of objects. Its iconic pale blue dot image permanently reframed perspective on Earth's place in the universe. Today, only a subset of instruments still operate, including magnetometers, low-energy charge particle sensors, and plasma diagnostics. If these remain active for another five to ten years, they could still yield fresh clues about the interstellar environment. Looking further ahead, some forecasts suggest that in about 16, 000 years Voyager, one could pass in the vicinity of Proxima Centauri b, a world in a nearby system long discussed as a potential abode for life. Speculation about that star system's habitability has persisted for years, fueling ongoing interest in its planets. For now, the world can only watch, wait, and hope this extraordinary spacecraft keeps working a bit longer, relaying data from the most distant reaches even after its instruments fall silent. Voyager 1 will endure as a powerful emblem of human exploration. Is this a rare quirk of the cosmos or something more profound? What further secrets might Voyager 1 conceal? Origins of Voyager 1, launched on September 5, 1977. Voyager 1 was part of NASA's audacious plan to closely investigate the outer solar system. Its companion, Voyager 2, departed two weeks earlier on a different path. Building on successes from the Mariner missions to Mars and Venus and the Pioneer probes that reached Jupiter, the Voyager program aimed to travel farther, offering detailed views of the giant planets before pressing beyond the known planetary realm. In the early 1970s, mission planners recognized a favorable planetary configuration that recurs about every 176 years, allowing a spacecraft to visit multiple outer planets via gravity assists. Voyager 2 would exploit this alignment to fly past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1, in contrast, was tasked with close studies of Jupiter and Saturn, then a high-speed exit out of the ecliptic following Saturn. Informed by the Pioneer experience, especially the punishing radiation near Jupiter, Voyager 1's design emphasized resilience. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, built in robust shielding, redundancy, and advanced science payloads. Tight schedules and budgets required rapid development, with every subsystem constrained by mass, volume, and power. The plan prioritized maximum data returned during brief flybys of Jupiter and Saturn. Though intended to last only a few years, 
The spacecraft vastly outlived expectations and ultimately became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Engineering a Deep Space Pathfinder, Voyager 1 was purpose-built to survive deep space extremes, intense radiation, dim sunlight, and multi-hour communications delays, instead of solar arrays. It carried three radioisotope thermoelectric generators containing plutonium-238, converting decay heat into electricity to meet mission needs, ideally with margin. The spacecraft's core hosts systems for power management, guidance, communications, and data handling. A 3.7M high-gain antenna maintains a link to Earth, beaming back sensor data because the signal weakens with distance. Earth-based receivers were engineered for exceptional sensitivity. Near Jupiter, data rates reached kilobits per second as the probe receded. Throughput necessarily declined. Voyager 1's instrument suite included a dual camera imaging system, a plasma spectrometer, cosmic ray sensors, a magnetometer, and a plasma wave instrument. Each was hardened to withstand gas giant radiation, especially within Jupiter's formidable magnetosphere. Careful. Placement minimized interference. The magnetometer rode on an extended boom to isolate it from spacecraft noise, while cameras and detectors sat on a scanning platform capable of precise pointing. When real-time transmission wasn't possible, data spooled to tape recorders with memory only on the order of tens of kilobytes. Efficient prioritization and compression were essential. Radiation remained a central hazard, while the probe's larger. Older generation electronics were inherently more tolerant than modern microchips. NASA still added shielding, error correction, and redundancy, features that later proved critical during unforeseen anomalies beyond Saturn. Through the outer solar system, Voyager 1 departed for Jupiter using the planet's gravity to catapult towards Saturn. By early 1979, it reached the Jovian system. The images astonished scientists, portraying churning cloud bands, the colossal Great Red Spot, and, most dramatically, active volcanism on Io, the first confirmed volcanic eruptions beyond Earth. Thank you for reading. Stay tuned for more compelling explorations of the cosmos and the pioneering spacecraft that keep expanding the limits of human knowledge.